Pernod Ricard of France's largest distiller reporting third quarter sales that exceeded estimates boosted by revenue products in emerging markets, of course. Pernod, the maker of Absolute Vodka, is among the distillers looking to those emerging markets in order to drive growth for their spirits, as well as their European and U.S. brands. Well, they might be a little sluggish, although they're coming out of a recession. Chief Executive Pierre Pringue, Pringue I beg your pardon, uh, joins us now for a CEO sit-down. I got it right the first time, monsieur. Exactly. Okay. So, um, before we talk about U.S. markets, let's talk about emerging markets, because you're a global drinks company. Where do you see the growth? What is the appetite right now in emerging markets for distilled spirits and wine? Well, it comes very much because in those markets, because of this economic situation and the development, you have an emerging middle class, and they have a great appetite for those great brands. And so, uh, more many people, more many consumers, that's very much upon which we are uh, sailing now. Now, what about the ability to penetrate a lot of these domestic markets? Because some of them are protected. I mean, for example, in India, we know of tariffs that exist for imported types of whiskey. Uh, what have you seen change? Well. You, you're right mentioning that India has uh, high tariff barriers, but uh, if you look at China, it's a very open market altogether. I mean, duties amount to 30%, and we are the, the leader in, uh, in China. Uh, and, you know, I don't see any limit to the growth of this market. Now, as part of the growth, I remember, of course, your acquisition of many of the brands of Seagram. Uh, what are you seeing now in terms of trying to grow those existing brands, like Chivas, for example? Well, Chivas, uh, we achieved just before the crisis the highest ever, and I'm pretty sure that this year, this fiscal year, we'll achieve that again. So the, uh, I mean, the brand is truly a global brand. It's probably one of the very few spirit brands that can pretend to be a global one, and uh, I see the development basically everywhere. Tell me about Malibu Black. I confess I've never tried it, but tell me about what you're trying to achieve there with Malibu. Uh, Maybe attracting consumers like you that uh, knew about Malibu when they were a lot younger, because it's Malibu is precisely for those who are between the legal drinking age and 24, and so because it's sweet, it's low alcohol, so in fact, uh, Malibu Black is the same with at 70 proof. So more mature. Uh, all right. Audience. So and, you're, and obviously trying to what use all different types of marketing in order to bring customers to the brand. Exactly, and maybe to extend the age where people are consuming Malibu. All right, well, talk about extending the age. Tell us about what your plans for Jameson, because you were saying that this is a big success story here in the United States. It's an incredible story. I mean, we have been still growing above 20% year on year despite the crisis. So we broke the 1 million cases barrier last year, and I think we're basically uh, on track to reach 2 million cases pretty soon. Now, how are you doing this? I mean, is it just by marketing or is it by packaging? What are some of the so telltale signs? I think it's a lot of combined factors. First of all, the taste of the brand, which is uh, extremely smooth and very distinctive. Of course, because of the historical link which exists between Ireland and the United States, it is also because of marketing and it is also because our consumer are our advocates. What about your vodka portfolio? Because, of course, Absolute, known throughout the world, is it going to be able to compete with other brands that are maybe at a lower price point? I think that with the improving situation which we're enjoying now in the U.S., uh, definitely Absolute is back on growth. I mean, we, uh, we are in the range of 3% uh, right now. But the good thing is, at the same time, we're growing double digit in the rest of the world. What about the growth of things like Beefeater Gin? Anything there? I mean, Beefeater is on, on the gin segment, and it's uh, fair to say that uh, the market is uh, probably more stagnant than anything else. Uh, nonetheless, it's, uh, it's a brand with a lot of uh, history and credential. All right. I want to thank you very much, uh, Pierre Pringue. Perfect. All right. The chief executive of Pernod Ricard. Coming